historical logbooks, BC at Work's resident storyteller, Clay Perry. 1886, Vancouver is just a borning. Hastings Mills had magnificent timber leases right along tidewater for two bits an acre. And since loggers were expected to work at that time, as one mill owner said, from sunup to sundown, for a chaw of chewing tobacco and a can of beans, Hastings Mill expected to turn a tidy profit. But a fly appeared in the ointment. Early that year, the Knights of Labor organized a strike among the loggers for higher pay. What was worse is that when R. H. Alexander, the superintendent of the mill, announced his plans to be Vancouver's first mayor, the loggers got together and said to themselves, gee whiz, the guy is already superintendent and he's police magistrate. Now he wants to be mayor, too much. So they went to a guy named Malcolm McLean and they urged him to run. Malcolm said, gee, I don't have enough money to run for political office. So they said, well, we'll pass the hat. And they passed the hat and Malcolm ran and he won. Well, that victory coming from a labor organization that had as one slogan, all land for the settlers, not another acre for the railroads or the speculators, was kind of ominous. That's Perry's log.